Hi everybody. Thanks for watching these videos. Thank you so much for electing me and sending me up here to Helena. I have learned so much. I've now completed my first full week as a state representative. I started my morning listening to Governor Bullock speak to us down in the bullpen. I had to run right upstairs and check in with the Business and Labor Committee just so that I could be counted present. And then I ran down the hall to the Judiciary Committee where I was presenting another bill for the Office of the Public Defender. There were four people there from the Office of the Public Defender to testify for the bill and answer questions. There were a lot of questions from the committee. I was a lot more comfortable this time and I felt really proud of my closing. As soon as I was done presenting my bill, I went back to business and labor. I had missed a presentation and I had missed one bill, so I'll have to get caught up on that. We heard two more bills, one from Representative Noonan about home brewing and a little more complicated one from Representative Fitzpatrick um, that, that changes, does some changes to the workers' comp law. So I'll have to study up on that before we make a decision about it. The Business and Labor Committee hearing was very short. We adjourned at 9.30, and so that left me until 1 o'clock to do the personal business, answer constituent emails, check my mail, um, see help my bills along in the process. I found out that I have my big bill, the lottery win-win bill that I care the most about, is up on Wednesday in front of education, and I was I learned how to get that moved until Friday. It has a fiscal note attached to it. Anything that costs money has to have a fiscal note, which is just a slip of paper from the budget department saying how much is going to be taken out of which accounts. You can also request a fiscal note for any bill that you propose that saves money or has a net earnings. And it's, it's a piece of paper that follows the bill around that everybody sees, saying exactly how much money comes into or out of which account. So I got to go to the budget director's office and learn about that process. I got the hearing moved to Friday. So anyone who's got a mountain of student loan debt from the state of Montana University system, I would love you to be my guest to testify in front of the education committee on Friday at 3. That's one week from today. Today there were a lot more lobbyists around the Capitol. Um, if you make eye contact with somebody and they see that you have a blue state of Montana name badge on, they'll introduce themselves and tell you who they represent and ask you questions and um, kind of walk you to where you're going. It's great to have a really long ponytail that can cover up your name badge when you need to get someplace fast. The Rotunda lunch today was hosted by the Montana University System. It was really nice to be able to go and listen to their great listen to them talk about their great programs and have a little bit of food. The house session started at one and we just had a third reading on what we voted on yesterday, which was the feed bill. So it was really short and sweet. And then we welcomed the Senate in and we listened to a presentation to the joint session on redistricting that I took until about 2.30. Some of the time on the joint, the excuse me, some of the time on the floor was spent sending a committee of four over to the Senate to brag to them about the basketball game that the house has won apparently for two sessions in a row so I think I'll be participating maybe on the basketball team as a bench warmer um, it's nice that they throw in some kind of fun stuff like that as soon as we were done with the floor session we met in the human services committee for an organizational meeting uh, that took about a half an hour. We pay $20 for each of our committees just to buy the refreshments. So it's going to cost $60 because I'm on three committees just for someone to get snacks for us to eat during the, the meetings. As soon as that meeting was over, I actually went up and saw McCall in the governor's office and she gave me a little tour. I got to talk to Lieutenant Governor Walsh for a few minutes. Um, I got to, and then Governor Bullock was just coming out of a meeting and caught me and said, hey, you come and come and see my office too. And he was so friendly and welcoming. I really appreciated that. I had never been in the governor's office before. So I'm starting to see why um, politicians sometimes see, seem like they have kind of a big head. 
everywhere you go in the Capitol, if you have this blue name badge on and you're asking for help or you have a question, the entire staff in the Capitol drops everything that they're doing and completely attends to whatever you need. Today I needed a form and I asked the secretary of our committee because she I knew she was out and so I asked where can I get another form. She said, oh don't I will bring it to you. Don't worry about getting another form. And I'm not even allowed to go get my own form. I did go get my own form, but I they just really cater to us and I, I really appreciate that they do that so that we can focus on I guess Push it, putting our bills through the whole process. I wanted to let every know, everyone know that on Monday in the state admin committee, they're going to hear a couple of different bills that restrict voter rights. Um, so if anyone can make it up to Helena to testify, that would be a really important thing to do. I'm happy to introduce you to some friendly faces and make sure that you know that you feel comfortable and can get through the process. Um, if you can afford to, and if you have the time to make it up to Helena to testify on Monday, I strongly urge you to do so. I have survived my first week in the Capitol, and I'm so excited to go and see Kevin, my husband, and my two dogs, and my cat, and I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye.